Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll start uploading a photo to the Firebase. Last time, we learned how to pick a photo, then display it to the avatar image view. Now the next step is to store this photo to the Firebase to tie it up with the other information of the user as a tiny transition step. Let's create a variable of the signup view controller to store the photo selected. It should be of type optional UI image so that we can validate it. Okay, we now can assign the picked photo to this new variable once users select the photo. That is, when this method gets called and the selected photo can be accessed via this info dictionary. Okay, good. Now we'll send the selected image to Firebase as we mentioned before. Because the image variable we've updated is an optional, we first need to access its value. We'll assign to a variable call image selected. The image selected is a UI image. We're going to need to convert it into a Firebase friendly format. Okay, let's define a constant to hold that converted data. Say image data. Firebase stores image data in a JPEG data format. So let's type JPEG data, all right? And we specify how good we want the resulting photo to be compared it to. The original here we use is a 0.4 compression ratio to get a lightweight photo. There's some warnings, but let's think about them. We'll come back shortly. Okay. As we mentioned before, we're going to store all media files to Firebase storage, then link them to Firebase database to utilize its real-time data handling feature. We first import the Firebase storage, then define a constant pointing to where the Firebase storage of our project lives. Similar to others, the main tools for working with Firebase storage are provided by the class storage. Let's create an instance of this class to use the tools. Then we can use the reference method to get access to the root location of the storage, which is this URL. All right. The usage is very similar to other Firebase packages. Let's create a node containing profile photos of all users. You can name it whatever you want. Here, we simply named it profile. Later on, we'll have the other nodes like photos, videos of messages, or things like that. We're gonna store all profile photos in this node. For each newly signed up user, we'll create a child node of this profile node to store the profile photo of that new user. Simply use the user ID as the perfect choice to tie up the corresponding new user. Storage metadata contains common properties to describe the data file. Our image is gonna be the JPEG type. Okay, now let's put the image data to the storage location we created for it. The upload data is simply our image data. It's data format types. And the, metadata, and the metadata should be the metadata we've created. Metadata is simply any additional information we want to tag the data. And the completion is simply the block in which we could perform anything we want after this uploading process finishes. This process might fail, so let's check, that, check if that's the case. If yes, then just return to break from this uploading function and ignore anything below in this method. Otherwise, we're going to get back to some information of the uploaded data we'll see later on. Let's try to run the app to test it out. Make sure to change the email to a new one. All right, let's pick a photo for the avatar. Hit sign up. Then open the Firebase in the browser. Under the storage section, hit refresh we should see a new photo is created. All right, this is the photo we've uploaded. The type is JPEG because we set content type of metadata to be JPEG. We can find the URL of image under the file location. Let's open it in a new tab. Very good. The next step is to download this image URL so that we can upload it to the Firebase database. We're gonna upload it to the profile image URL child of the user, okay? To get back the URL, we'll call download URL on the storage profile reference. Once we've got the URL, we're gonna convert it into a string using a property called absolute string. All right. Great, let's run the app and see how it works. Don't forget to change the email to a new one. All right, let's go quickly and create a new user. All right, we'll see a new photo URL right here. Very good. Let's open it in your browser. Fantastic. We've got the profile image URL. It's time to save it to the Firebase database. We first need to update the dictionary with the new image URL. All 
All right. Then move this database stuff to a good place. We're good now. Let's check it out. Now let's create a new user. Choose a profile photo for this new user. This one looks good. Then hit the sign up button. Fantastic. Here's the information of the new user we've just created. This is the URL string of the profile image so we can view it in a browser. All right. See you next time.